Welcome back, Life With Us TV, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Hey, what are we here for today? In this video, we're gonna talk about 15 things we think you should know before your next carnival cruise. These tips are gonna be good for first time cruisers and also people who have already cruised before. And please stick around to the end because we got one tip that we think you really gonna love, but you gotta stick around to the end you for You don't that. want to miss it. It is. Tip number one, as a travel agent, I get this question almost daily, and it's not an easy answer. The tip is, when booking your Carnival Cruise, know what deal it was that you signed up under. What I mean is, if they send you that nice little promotion, it's like, oh, $25 down, $99 down, get an onboard credit of $100, know what the rules and the stipulations and the penalties are of said deal. Because if there comes a time where you want to back out or cancel, know what it is that the risks are for that particular deal. Yes. That really goes into play when you're dealing with <clears throat> casino deals. Casino deals usually come with no money back for your deposit. And most of their deposits start at $98. Mm. So boom, you're out of some money right there if you decide not to go if they don't cancel on you. If you cancel on them, you just lose your deposit. Another thing is, like I said before, know the penalties. And this is not just for the deals. Know the penalties of, okay, you made your deposit, then when is your final payment? But mm -hmm. even with that, if you wanna change your mind, what date do I need to make my decision by before mm. I start to lose money yes. on said cruise? Tip number two, and I know we probably sound like a broken record, but we got to keep saying it, is that you should bring your passport on your cruise. Now, we already know if you on a cruise that's from that's leaving the U.S. and returning to the U.S., you are not required to have a passport. But however... If you're on international waters and something happens where you have to get off the ship or you get kicked off, like we oh, talked about in the other sick. thing, or sick or whatever, you need the passport to get back home. Because if you don't have it, you're going to go through, it. Go through it to try to get back home. Absolutely. Tip number three kind of goes along with tip number two. But this one for me I, is a non-negotiable. <laughs> right. Travel insurance. Yes. Listen. It's not wise to get in your car and drive without insurance. Why would you go on vacation where we're the most careless, yep. where things are prone to happen, where you're on excursions doing things that you wouldn't normally do, yep. chance in getting hurt. If you know, I just had surgery for an incident that happened on a carnival cruise. Done's real. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure that you have your travel insurance. Yes, please. Just build it into the price. If you don't need it, hallelujah. If you do need it, hallelujah. hallelujah. <laughs> yes. Tip number four. Mm -hmm. Now, this may sound very small, but this happened to me on our the last, last one. <laughs> on our last trip. Oh, I was hot. <laughs> I forgot to download the Carnival Hubs app. So I said we was at embarkation. Um, and we was getting ready to take off. I said, I'm up. I'm going to download this app before we take off. And I got caught up in the sail away party, forgot all about it. We out in the middle of the scene. I was like, baby, I didn't download the app. <laughs> so please, yeah. even right now, if you have not downloaded the app, I don't care if your trip is in October of this year, download, download it right now. Because if you don't download it, you're going to have to go down to guest services to get them to help you put it on your phone. And y'all know them lines could be crazy down there. And the reason why I stress so much about downloading this app, because on there, you be able to see the itinerary of your trip. You get to reserve your dining. You get to see all the activities that are happening on the ship. You get to go in and see the balance on your sign and sale yeah. <laughs> card, which could be if well you above your budget if you're not careful. <laughs> so yes, that's why I stress to download that app, man. Yeah. And right now, the muster drill is on there as well. Yes. So they call it the e-muster. You do everything on there, and then you just check in at your little station. It's all the five minutes. Yeah. Love it. It's great. Hope they keep it's that. Great. Yes. Yeah, and I know some of y'all are like, well, I got the Wi-Fi package. If, you're, if you were unfortunate like we were unfortunate on our cruise, the Wi-Fi package was so spotty. Yeah. And it was so slow, even the premium packet, that it would not download it onto his phone. 
Nah. It would start, and then you get the squirrel. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so, I mean, nothing would happen. So, go ahead and do Just it Just download now, it. Just download it. So, you'll it, have it. But tip number five. Listen. For every sailing that Carnival Cruise Lines have, and there's, and it's for all other cruise lines as well, but go in and search for your cruise ship and the date. That way you can start to mingle with the people that's gonna be sailing with you. Yes. Funny thing is, you might see some people that you recognize that you didn't know that was going to be on that sailing. Like the last time, someone recognized us from being on YouTube, being yep. in the group, and they hit me up and they was like, no, no. You really gonna be on the sailing? Like, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So then you get to start getting excited and people are sharing things and then they have activities and it's like, oh, who wants to do a bar crawl? Who wants to do a cabin crawl? And you start to really, like, they just, they just give you that hype that you need to get excited for your cruise. Yes. Tip number six, y'all. Please pre-do your specialty dining online before you get on the ship. Because uh -huh. I'm gonna tell you, that dining can fill up very fast because you get on the ship and like you know i want to go to the steakhouse and you look on the app and no more stuff will be available then also you want to do that because on the first night mm -hmm. if you go to specialty dining you get a free bottle of wine hey. so if you want to do specialty dining go online right now and go ahead and book it so you make sure that you can be able to go when you get on the ship absolutely tip number seven at the time where carnival releases the check-in times where you're able to <clears throat> check in to your cruise Go ahead and do that early, especially if you're with a group or a family and you all want to go on to the ship together. Yes. Hit everybody up in the group chat and be like, oh, what time do you want? 10 o'clock? No, I think they start at 11. 11 o'clock slot, 12 o'clock slot. For me, I have learned that the later, the better. If I just have to hang out in port for a little while, I'll just do that. Go ahead and reserve your slot. They are being really strict about being in your time slot because they don't want the terminals to be overly crowded. So sign up as soon as they release those times so you'll be able to get the time you want. Tip number eight, y'all. If y'all anything like us, when mm. we get on a cruise or any type of vacation, we don't want to have to worry about buying oh anything. God, I hate so it. we recommend pre-buying everything. Pre-buy your pictures, pre-buy your excursion, pre-buy your drink package, anything that you'd like to happen on your cruise, pre-buy it. Because on Carnival, you can pre-buy it all. And that way, all you gotta do is when you get on the ship, is just enjoy yourself and don't even have to really even worry about no money in your pocket if you don't want, yeah. if you got everything pre-bought. So yes, please do that. Pre-purchase. Yes. Tip number nine. Listen, yeah. there are a lot of checklists out there that says, oh, get make sure you bring this on board, blah, 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 blah. That don't work for everybody. Right, right. right. Create your own your packing own. list. Yes. And what I mean by that, while you're at home, just kind of take inventory in your mind of the things that you use on a daily. You know, your mouthwash, your different things you put on your the, face. Uh, deodorant. I'm a black woman. Look, I'm a black <laughs> woman. The bonnet, the hair wraps, like yeah. there are different things, the silk pillowcase. There are different things for everyone. So go ahead and make your own checklist so that when it's time to travel, you're just not sitting there like, where's my bonnet? Yeah. Oh no, my hat. Where's my spray bottle? Like yeah. there are different things that we yeah. just need. Yep. Make sure you have your yeah, checklist check, ready. That, yeah, that checklist will make your life a heck of a lot easier Boom. when you pack it. Yes. <laughs> Tip number 10, we think this one is very important. Yes, it is. Please don't forget to bring your pre bring your water bottles, tumblers, and straws. I'm gonna tell you this is very important because, <laughs> because y'all know Carnival only have the paper straws on, on or the board. candy and or, they yeah. melt so fast. So this come in handy like if you down at the pool or you walking around and you want to have your drinks and stuff covered. And then also it's great for excursions too. So just in case you want to get them to make drinks for you while you're at your excursion. There's so many benefits to this this cup, man. So yeah, bring your tumblers or your water bottles. Absolutely. Tip number 11. This is something that you prepare to not need it, but you need to have it just in case you yeah, need it. Yeah, man. Because it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Exactly. C-bands and drama mean. And what I mean by that is you just never know. Yeah. If you're going to be that person that gets seasick. Mm-hmm. Crazy thing is, I've gotten seasick my yeah. very first cruise and <laughs> yep. have never gotten seasick again. But every cruise. I don't care. I don't care if it clashes with my outfit. I am going to have my C-bands on. Put it on your wrist. Make sure the dot is at the bottom of your wrist. 
it gives you acupuncture. I mean, acupressure, not puncture. Yeah. <laughs> and it does. It works. Yeah, it works. If you want to go the, the medicinal route, just go ahead and take your drama mean. But that is a miserable feeling to be sick <clears throat> at sea. Yeah. <laughs> Tip number 12, y'all. Please bring your waterproof phone cases, man. That created such a buzz the last yes. trip. Yes. And I was like, I thought that everybody did this. Yeah, these are excellent when you go down and you want to get in the pool, where you can go ahead and put your phone in here, you can put your money in here, your credit card. So anything war related, it can all stay dry. But here's another tip that I want to let you know, especially if you already have these phone cases, please test these before you get on the ship because if you think like, like us, we don't have this one for a while. So it could be holes in here or this Hold part might not be locking correctly. And with last thing you need to get on the ship and your thing get filled up with water while your phone and money is sitting there. That ain't so, cute. So yeah, go ahead and test it. And the way you test it, just, so put a paper towel in here and then just drop it in the water, take it out and see if the paper towel is still dry. If it's dry, you good know your go. case is good. And also you want to take your Ziploc bags. My wife carries a little fanny pack around her waist. So she puts um, her money, credit cards inside and of- And my lip gloss. The lip, yep, inside of the Ziploc bag. So when she in the pool, and it'll be like bag. that. Yeah, that's another way. So she do that and this right here. And what we'll do is we'll put a link to, uh, um, to this just in case you want to buy some of these for your trip. Tip number 13. Hopefully this never happens to anyone, but in yeah. the climate that we're in, sometimes it just happens. You may need to quarantine for several different reasons. But all over the internet right now, people are leaving tips and tricks on how they were able to manage their sanity, get through the quarantine process while on board, if that were to happen to you. Let me tell you what they said. Once you were in quarantine, they take away your key card access to your door, which mm. means you cannot leave. So if you are a smoker, there is no more smoke breaks for you. You will have to just tin with it. So people said that other people were sharing their Nicorette with them so that they'll be able to fight through those cravings because they weren't permitted to leave their cabin to go smoke. Another thing that I will say is, this is even if you don't have a quarantine situation, make yourself a little medicine cabinet. Yes. I have this right here. Um, I bought this from Amazon. Everybody just seems to be so impressed yep. with this. But, so this is my makeshift medicine cabinet. I bought this from Amazon. It has different compartments in it and it has stickers where you can write what's in here. So I have my antacids, Tylenol, ibuprofen, Motrin, yeah, Gas-X, man. you might need that. Yeah, my Allergy <laughs> pills, Benadryl, um, anti-diarrhea, anti-nausea pills, different stuff. This is a card blocker. Plan, I need plan that. Bs. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's so compact that it folds out, boom, fold it together, and it locks. So yep. you don't have to worry about your stuff going anywhere. Yeah. I will link these below because game changer. Yeah. Also, an iPad. <clears throat> they said that when, if you Or get, tablet. Yeah. If you get quarantined, they will provide you with some entertainment, but it's ship entertainment. Mm. Y'all know their channel sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and they'll give you Wi-Fi as well. So go ahead and bring your tablet, iPad, so that you'll be able to entertain yourself as well. All right, tip number 14. This is a good one that we just recently learned that we're gonna start applying to basically all our, all of our trips yeah, that's a game where, where we have to check luggage. If y'all know anything about us, we are carry, on, uh, only. carry on only. But if we ever had to do the check, we're gonna do this is what they call split luggage. So I will put half my luggage in her her suitcase and she will put half of her luggage in my suitcase. So just in case if any one of our things got lost, we still have something to put on. <laughs> I said, that's a good idea. When I you said, that's a, a great couple. idea, man. Yeah, we're definitely yeah. doing that if we have that's to check out. That's a great idea. So yeah. Because that would suck to, yeah. <laughs> to, be, <laughs> to get halfway there. Well, to get there, realize that your bag didn't make it. Yeah. Try that out on your next trip if you got to check any luggage, because we definitely are. All right. You've almost made it to the end of the video. If you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Hit the thumbs up button. We'll be back with more of these. Tip number 15. Y'all know the climate that we're dealing with right now, right? We, we don't have to speak about the elephant in the room, right? Right now, how it is is that 
everyone that is on Carnival Cruise Lines has to be vaccinated. There's a small percentage of people that can sail unvaccinated, but you have to go through an exemption process, yes. right? The exemption process is such, you've booked your cruise, oh, I'm just gonna pay on my cruise to see if I'm gonna be in that number to sail without being vaccinated. That's not how it works. You have to pay that cruise in full to even be considered. So if your cruise is not paid in full at the time that Carnival decides that they're gonna send this email out to their people to say, hey, here it is. You can apply to see if we accept you as an unvaccinated guest. If your cruise is not paid off at the time that that email comes out and no one knows when that email is going to come out, mm. you're not even going to get that email. You're not even gonna be in the running. And guess what? By the time you finish paying off your cruise, there's not going to be a spot for you. Do not forget to stay on top of your emails. Yes. At this time, things change so quickly that you need to know what it is they're doing, what they're requiring. And right now, you have to attest to a health assessment. If you don't attest to the health assessment, they will cancel your cruise. Mm. I mean, point blank. Don't period. want that. So you do want to stay on top of your emails to make sure that at, when that comes out, check, check. Don't even delay it. I don't care if you're in the middle of the grocery store. Just, just pull over to the peas <laughs> and just go ahead and fill it out that you're feeling all right because we're going to need you to get on board. Yeah. And now for the bonus tip. Have you ever heard of like a casino deal that other people have gotten, but you didn't get that added to your VIFP number? Did you know that you can actually apply to get that deal added on to your booking. Mm. I figured this thing out as a travel agent with me just doing the whole lot of training that I do. And it was like, oh, you want this deal? I can I can ask for a deal that I know my cousin got or my auntie got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can ask for that deal and y'all possibly would give it to me? Yes, that's a thing. Wow. Apply for the deal that you want. Now this is only for casino <clears throat> deals. Not the regular deal, but the casino deals is the deals to be getting. Right, right. <laughs> Apply for them. All right, so we hope that you enjoyed all 15 of these tips. Absolutely. Ever. And if you got any additional tips that you think we should know, please go ahead and put them down in the comments below. And we're going to catch you in the next Carnival Cruise video. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty side. Two up. Two, two down. down.